hi everyone welcome again to another session on bacteriology so the topic we are going to discuss now is streptococci okay so the streptococci uh, comes under streptococci streptococci the group streptococci we are going to discuss streptococci e a e okay so what are the bacteria which comes under streptococci it is streptococcus okay then pneumococcus and enterococcus but now the enterococcus has been given an another group group that is known as enterococci okay so now only streptococcus and pneumococcus are included in streptococci so streptococci is a catalyst negative group take a catalyst negative and gram positive catalyst negative case who are catalyst positive kya tha? catalyst positive was staphylococci okay so streptococci kya hota hai? naturally becomes kya hota hai? streptococci naturally becomes your catalyst negative so this is an mcq which has come unlimited number of times unlimited number of times jo ye question questions to the power n a unlimited number of time this question has come and it might come in the future also okay okay now we will be starting with streptococcus so we will be starting with streptococcus let's see what is there in streptococcus so we will start with the classification of streptococcus so the streptococci has been classified into one which shows alpha hemolysis beta hemolysis and gamma hemolysis okay so the alpha hemolytic streptococci are streptococci pneumonia i'm very bad in doing diagrams okay please don't mind streptococci pneumonia and streptococci viridens okay jo beta hemolysis streptococci pneumonia and streptococci viridens alpha hemolysis mein aata hai beta hemolysis mein kya aata hai again it is classified into a to v based on carbohydrate c in the cell wall this is known as lensfield classification a to v a to v except i and z except i and z i or uh, i sorry i and z i am saying i and j except i and j so based on carbohydrate antigen in cell wall the beta hemolytic streptococci are further divided into 20 sero groups okay group a to v except i and j okay so isko kya kehte hai lensfield classification this is lens field classification Gata, gamma hemolysis ka aapka example kya hai enterococcus okay fine now we will study more about beta hemolysis alpha hemolysis ka par liya humne streptococci pneumonia and streptococci viridens aata hai isme and gamma hemolysis me aata hai enterococcus aapka beta hemolysis according to lens field classification uh, classified into a to v based on carbohydrate carbohydrate c in the cell wall okay except i and j a to v hota hai except i and j okay now we will study more about beta hemolysis a is again subdivided okay that is uh, griffith uh, griffith uh, typing griffith typing a is again subdivided dead into 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 100 serotypes okay oh, into it into yeah 100 serotypes based on m protein see some 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 teachers they say 80 serotypes and some say some say 100 serotypes so i follow apurva shastri okay 
for that is the standard textbooks for uh, NEET uh, post graduation preparation. So there it is written hundred, and I have heard many teachers they say eighty stereotypes also. So um, anyway, it does not matter. Uh, it, the question will be near to that only hundred or eighty. It, uh, one option will come only. So hundred. Uh, some teachers they say hundred, and some say eighty. Okay. Um, so I follow hundred. Okay. Now. I follow hundred. Uh, it's a very risky word for me, but yeah, I because uh, I follow Apurva Shastri, so hundred hundred stereotypes. Okay. Then, this is known as Griffith typing. Again, there is another typing that is known as M typing. That is based on gene coding for M protein. Based on gene coding for M protein. And this me kya hai? 124 M genotype are identified. Okay. Now, or a classification hai, jo streptococci ka bi, um, classification hai. That is group A streptococci, group B streptococci, and group D streptococci. So, group A me aata hai streptococci pyogens. Okay, whatever you call pyogens or pyogenes, uh, it does not matter as long as you know agalactase, streptococci B, uh, group B, streptococci, agalactase, and septo D me aata hai enterococcus. Okay, fine. Now we will be starting about differences between um, group A streptococci and group B streptococci. Okay, so we will write down here group A streptococci. Okay, that is pyogenes, and here we will write down group B streptococci. That is your apka kya hai? Mm, agalactase streptococci. Agalactase. Okay, so group A streptococci. Is me ham uh, three things will study: basic tracing test camp test camp test and hht what are what is camp test camp test is christy atkins munch peterson test okay and hht is apka hippurate Hippurate hydrolysis test. Okay. So basic tracing test, basic tracing test, group A streptococci is sensitive. Okay. And group B streptococci is resistant. Okay. Camp test, this is negative, group A streptococci negative, and group B streptococci is positive. Again, HHT, this is negative, and this is positive. Okay, so let's see what is basic tracing test. Apka basic tracing test me kya hota hai? Ham dekhte hai. Yeah, this is basic tracing test. See, suppose the disc shows on the shown on the plate are loaded with antibiotic basic tracing. So basic tracing is an antibiotic. Which species left or right is susceptible bacteria? So susceptible able to be killed by the antibiotic. So yaha pe susceptible likha hai able to be Killed by the, this area is a susceptible zone of where bacteria mar gaya hai. So this is susceptible and this is shown by apka kya hai? Mm, basic tracing uh, sensitive is group A streptococci. Okay. And basic tracing resistant yaha pe dekho kuch nahi hua that is apka group B streptococci. Again I have got another slide. See A no zone of inhibition. Matlab Resistant hai. Resistant hai is agalactase. Yaha pe zone of inhibition hai. That is streptococca pyogenes. Okay. Now this this is a slight differentiating Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Staphylococcus kya hota hai? Clusters. Okay. In uh, in kya bolte hai? Aapko in uh, in gram staining. What do we see? This is both of them are gram positive, right? Gram positive hai is ke karan, they are violet in color. See, both of them are violet in color. Staphylococci, kya hota hai? 
क्लस्टर्स क्लस्टर मतलब ग्रेप्स के जैसे होते हैं तो सी यू कैन सी लाइक ए बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स दिस इज ए बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स दिस इज ए बंच ऑफ ग्रेप दिस इज ए बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स दिस इज ए बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स बंच ऑफ ग्रेप्स स्टेफेलोकोकस ब्लू होता है वायलेट होता है बिकॉज दे आर ग्राम पॉजिटिव ठीक है एंड स्टेप्टोकोकस आर फाउंड इन स्टेप्टोकोकाय आर फाउंड इन चेन्स ठीक है स्टेप्टोकोकाय आर फाउंड इन चेन्स चेन जैसे होते हैं ना ऐसे है स्टेप्टोकोकाय ठीक है सो वी वे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ग्रुप ए स्टेप्टोकोकाय एंड ग्रुप बी स्टेप्टोकोकाय Uh, we th we spoke about the differences between group A streptococci and group B streptococci. Now we will study group A streptococci, that is streptococci pyogens. Streptococci pyogens. ठीक है? तो क्या होता है? This is gram positive cocci, and this is catalase. नेगेटिव आई हैव टोल्ड यू बिफोर दिस इज कैटेलिस नेगेटिव ठीक है सो लार्जेस्ट चेन ऑफ लार्जेस्ट चेन ऑफ स्टेप्टोकोकाय आई टोल्ड दिस ऑल्सो दैट दे आर फाउंड इन चेन स्टेप्टोकोकाय आर फाउंड इन चेन्स दिस इज द पिक्चर दिस इज स्टेप्टोकोकाय फाउंड इन चेन्स ओके सो लार्जेस्ट चेन इज फाउंड इन स्टेप्टोकोका सेलिवरियस ठीक है नाउ लेट्स लेट्स नाउ टॉक अबाउट द कल्चर मीडिया कल्चर मीडिया फॉर स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस बायोजेन इज सी वी बी ए दैट इज क्रिस्टल वायलट ब्लड अगर ठीक है ब्लड अगर दिस क्रिस्टल वायलट ब्लड अगर डज नॉट अलाउ स्टेफेलोकोकस स्टेफाइलोकोकस टू ग्रो ठीक है इट प्रोड्यूसेस बीटा हेमोलाइसिस and it produces pinpoint size colonies so what are pinpoint size colonies let's see see this is pinpoint size colonies this you can see pinpoint size colonies so colonies are small pinpoint 0.5 to 1 mm uh, circular then semi transparent with an area of clear hemolysis beta hemolysis around them Viral strain on face. So these are um, this this you have to this term you have to remember that pinpoint colonies pinpoint colonies pinpoint colonies are shown are shown by streptococcus. Okay, shown by streptococcus. Now next what we will be studying culture media me ye bol diye hamne now what is the transport media transport media for streptococcus pyogen is transport media is pikes media so this you have to remember the name that is pikes media streptococcus pyogens mein pikes media hota hai now after transport media we will talk about the diseases caused by streptococci so diseases aapka kya kya cause karta hai Number one, acute pharyngitis. Please write it down. Whatever I tell, please write it down. I'm 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 giving the uh, lectures in a very systematic way. Okay, so um, I try to cover almost all the points. Few points may be missed out. I'm not a perfect person, so some points may be missed out. But uh, anyway, I try to give as much as I can from my side to all the students. So cellulitis, then impetigo. Number four is Eddie Seplus. Number five is Puperal Sepsis. Number six is Necrotizing Fasciitis. Because the fascia are involved, this is Streptococci pyogen is also known as flesh eating bacteria. Okay. Number seven is your scarlet, scarlet fever. Okay, ये ये सारा disease है. ठीक है, these are suppurative and there are non-suppurative also. Non-suppurative means जहाँ पे pus formation नहीं होता है. Non-suppurative is number one acute rheumatic fever. Number two is 
fever and number two is post streptococcal glomerulonephritis PSGN okay so now we will study little bit about this two non-separative non-separative yadrakna non-separative this comes as question uh, acute rheumatic fever and PSGN it comes as question what are the non-separative um, uh, non-separative infections caused by streptococcus pyogens now let's study a little bit about acute rheumatic fever so acute rheumatic fever mein kya hota hai? there is history of sore throat okay sore throat hota hai and this is my complement levels are normal okay lifelong prophylaxis prophylaxis of penicillin is required okay and aso titers 200 plus ODD units this is just a minute I'll check yeah TOD units not ODD units I was thinking what is this ODD units 200 TOD units TODD TOD units okay so this is about acute rheumatic fever and then PSGN history of pyodermic infection okay complement level is less than normal less than normal then this see lifelong prophylaxis is not required here lifelong prophylaxis is required for acute rheumatic fever here it comes spontaneously and goes spontaneously spontaneous to come and spontaneous to go okay and here uh, a ARF me tha apka ASO titer here NT DNA B titer dekhte hai hum DNA B that should be 300 to 350 TOD units okay so this is all about acute rheumatic fever and acute glomerulonephritis that is post streptococcal glomerulonephritis now we will talk little bit about group B streptococci that is streptococci streptococcus agalactici streptococcus agalactici agalacti or agalactici mm, whatever it is so this is a norm normal common cell of the birth canal okay and it leads to early or late neonatal meningitis so this is important kya cause karta hai early or neonatal late neonatal meningitis so agalactasi early or late neonatal meningitis okay fine then it shows camp test positive so we have talked about camp test earlier also so we'll be again talking about in our image based classes so we will show again images of camp test okay and this is also hht that is hipporate hipporate hydrolysis test is positive so this is all for the topic of streptococcus streptococcus so i hope you like the class um, please uh, do give your feedback regarding the class anything you would like to improve i would surely uh, uh, like to know from you how you like the class uh, if there is anything you would like me to include or like me to better i am ready to hear from you please do give your feedback and if you like the class please do give a thumbs up and share the class to your friends so thank you very much for patiently listening to me see you in the next class thank you very much Thank you.